What's up guys and welcome to Indie Game of the Week. This is a brand new series uh, that we are doing and basically we uh, explain about indie games. Uh, one indie game a week and today is Super Meat Boy. So yeah, uh, Josh, you want to tell us a bit about Super Meat Boy? Super Meat Boy, it was um, developed by Team Meat, which consists of, like, who's in Team Meat, Chris? Uh, got, uh, Edmund McMiller and Tommy Refenez, I think that is. It sounds not like Refenez. Ravine, but... it's not. It's not a Mexican, or is it? Refenez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rafines or Raf I don't I don't know I can't I can't think. Yeah, sorry we can't pronounce your name, but you know you made a brilliant game. Well, uh, pretty much the the game is pretty much a platform, isn't it? Where the levels get progressively harder. Yeah, and you are a block of meat, uh, and you are trying to save your girlfriend um, bandage, bandage girl. girl from uh, Doctor Thesis or Thesis Thesis Doctor Thesis Doctor Thesis. Sorry, I I read that wrong. Um, so yeah, uh, it's in the style of basically like a Mario game, so you have to go through like uh, dangerous uh, puzzles and levels that get progressively harder, as Josh said, uh, and you're trying to save your girlfriend. Uh, Dr. Fetus is a bit of a douchebag though, if you ask me. He's constantly flicking you off, he's stealing your girl, <laughs> he's probably kissed her without your permission. Because you oh, have to admit, God. the main protagonist is, you know, the main... The, the love interest, the princess, is yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. I think this game is brilliant. Like, it's it, I've I've played it for hours um, on the PC. Like, you originally played it on the Xbox that you've been telling me, and um, I, I beat it on someone. I beat on my friend's um, on my friend's game. I beat it, and then I beat it on my game. But I did yeah. that thing where you beat it on theirs, but you can't beat it on yours. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, that's I, awful. I did that with a load of games. Um, but essentially, you told me about this game, and I got into it about, I'd say, um, a year ago. And I'm still playing it now. Like, it, it, I'm, oh, no. I'm stuck on the, the end levels. Like, the end levels are killer. But they, wait, the, like, uh, <laughs> the last world, like, the, the bandage level. Well, there's the one after that. Levels. The bandage girl one is so much harder. Yeah, than, I, than actually, the I just end find that, stuff. like... It's totally and utterly difficult, but I will always come back to the game because I'm just like, I'm. I find that today's the day. Like I'll wake up and I'll be like, I can beat that level, and then I'll get on it and I'll just be like, why? Why did I come on this level? <laughs> the levels, why? the levels aren't too bad when you get used to them if you play them enough. But the bosses, now there they do like that worm boss. Have you done the? You've done the worm boss, haven't yeah. you? Those, yeah. Those three worm things that you got to get into the, the saws. They are a pain. They are. I hate them. <laughs> I, I really hate them. I. That I despise these little worm dicky that, things. That's the unique thing about this game. Like you will always come back to it. Like no matter yeah. what is troubling you, you would just be like, I, I can do this. I, I think I can do this. And it's just like, no. Nope. And then you OD after you nope. overdose. Yes. Yeah, so so I'd, I'd give this like a nine out of ten in in my books, just because of the the play playback ability of this. Like the replayability <laughs> is playback ability. Playback ability. Yeah, it's my words, guys. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. Like I, I enjoy the story, even though it's like there, there actually is a story, but it's not like dead in depth. And the the levels just like make me go crazy. But I'm always like, I, I love doing this level and this level, even though it takes me like an hour to do it. I thought the, a good thing that they've added though is the fact that you can replay your deaths, which oh, well, you popped die like a hundred times. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's and then it just plays everything. Yeah, it's fantastic to see and. Um, I hope they make like something like a Super Meat Boy 2 would be brilliant, like oh, uh, or something know. along the lines of that. I think would be absolutely fantastic. They've done like other games, haven't they? They've done um, Binding of Isaac. Yeah. And the other thing I thought it was called the back uh, to bed to bed, the basement collection. But I thought we thought Super Meat Boy was a great way to start this series. Yeah, it's, like, it's it was one of our all time favourites. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of like if not the best, one of my favourite. Indie games. Indie games, yeah. So yeah, that has been Super Meat Boy and Indie Game of the Week, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and the facts and our opinions. Um, please take them as our opinions. Like, don't like message and be like, you know, we hate you all because <laughs> because you like Super Meat Boy. Contact um, Team Meat and saying, oh yeah, these these guys only gave you a nine. <laughs> they only gave you a nine out of ten. They said you were the favourite and they only didn't give you a ten. 
But yeah, uh, with Indie in the Week, we will be showing a, a game every single week that is, that is either of our interest, like our, we actually love, or something that is new that is coming out on Steam or Xbox that uh, hopefully we can get our hands on. Yeah, and suggest stuff as well. If you, oh yeah, definitely. If suggest you comment stuff. in and you like any indie games, pop it on. <laughs> we'll look at it, because, you know. Yeah, and leave a thumbs nice. up for uh, if you enjoy, if you're going to enjoy the series and you enjoy us chatting about, um, like, our opinions on these games. So yeah. Adios. See you later, guys, and have a merry Indie Game Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>